Hey y'all, in this issue of Radiant Black, will Nathan actually start writing a story or will his new life as Radiant Black hinder making it as a writer? Let's find out in issue 3 if Nathan can actually write something or is he all just talk because he gets distracted. We open up with Nathan waking up early in the morning before his dad who is surprised that Nathan is up this early. His dad thinks he'll have an eventful day ahead of him. We see Nathan is trying to write a story about a bank heist starring a girl named Elizabeth Beckett. We see Nathan is having trouble setting things up in his story like what is Elizabeth's backstory that led her to rob banks. Nathan is stuck on what kind of background will be good for her until his mother interrupts by saying that she wants to read it but isn't this similar to another story he wrote before? Is he like her, a person who doesn't start from scratch on a project but will find something similar and retrofit it to what he needs then? Later we see Nathan waste more time surfing on the net before starting to write again. He has writer's block but books he doesn't want to write keep appearing into his sentences. He keeps trying to write but nothing until Radiant pops up and we head to Marshall's work where he's trying to come up with a name for Nathan. Nathan asks Marshall shouldn't he be helping customers out instead of doodling? But Marshall wants to come up with Nathan's cool new superhero name. Nathan wants to keep his superhero adventures on the down low, but Marshall says they wouldn't know what they were talking about and he wants to work with Radiant. Radiant Black is the new superhero name. But why Radiant Black? Because his powers are blue. Marshall says black is sexy and classic. Also, he registered the social already. So, what can you do? Nathan can't believe Marshall just did that, but Marshall says that he needs to take control of his own story. Nathan doesn't have time for this, so he just goes to go right. And instead of going right home, Nathan tries a bar to get some ideas. He's still brainstorming for ideas as he doesn't want to write a bank heist story, but the fallout after it happened, Nathan starts to nod off and didn't think of a short story would be this hard until he got an idea and started writing. Later in his room, the roof collapses and he sees a figure like his suit start talking to him, but he can't understand them. He sees an older version of himself before he gets dropped and he wakes up as if it was all a dream. He sees that he got a tweet from someone who needs his help with a flat tire and he decides to put his story on hold in favor of some super heroics. Nathan shows up and the family thought Radiant Black was just one of those crazy cosplayer vigilantes, but the kid asks isn't there anything better he could be doing right there and then than fixing a flat, and the mother asks if he's cold. The dad appreciates the help, Nathan tries to help with the tire iron, but breaks it instead, and the kid says the superhero can't fix a flat tire, but the mother calms him down, saying that he's doing everything fine, but they will be late, so Nathan has a better idea. He flies into the game. Nathan is disappointed because he wasted the day doing everything but right. He can't sleep so he decides to try one more time to write. His dad wakes up and checks on him. Nathan stayed awake all through the night breaking ground on some writing. His dad is happy for him and is going to make some breakfast if he wants some. And as the issue ends Nathan isn't happy because this time he was productive. It might not be the same thing the next time. My thoughts on this issue were that this is a regular day for Nathan trying to find that spark for a good story but getting nowhere and retreading old stories till he takes a break and meets up with Marshall about the Radiant Black thing. The most interesting part about this is the suit seems to manifest things in his mind as if he were dreaming he, like he saw that older version of himself. The art was still good and I'm still curious as to where this will lead. But that should do it for today. Stay safe, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for having me. You picked a winner. Uh, so, uh, where's my room and top billing?